Hello all and uh, welcome to episode 20 of Enterprise Tech India Unplugged and uh, I hope all of you are subscribing to our channels on YouTube and on Spotify on Apple Podcasts and uh, if you don't know how to subscribe please go to etiunplugged.in slash subscribe and you will figure out how to subscribe to our podcast and it really helps us to understand that you like our content and if you think you have uh, uh, suggestions for us you want to discuss important topics which you think are important for the enterprise technology uh, in, in in India and especially if you are uh, a company which provides to the enterprise uh, enterprises in India please feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to uh, take your views on subjects and uh, even talk about your products. Thank you. And uh, we have with us uh, Kumaran, who is uh, Chief Technology Officer of Tiny Magic. Uh, and he is he is going to help us uh, today look at enterprise architecture and, and why is it relevant today. And, and being an architect for a long time, and I, I'm, I'm sure he has he a has lot of views on on why enterprise architecture is relevant and what does it mean today in the ever changing world uh, uh, today in, in in that IT space so kumaran how are you doing today and what do you think about this topic hi deepak nice to again join on this call and i think um, one of the key or basically the most key element, right, when we understand architecture itself and enterprise architecture, if we understand what it is, the basic definition, then a lot of other things fall into place easily. So it's one of those things. Yeah, I will error on the uh, side of making it more simple than more complex. Okay, so uh, I, I would actually say, let's make the mistake of making it a little simple so that people can understand it and practicing it than to be very detailed and making it hard for people even to move. So I would actually say architecture is a strategy, a mm-hmm. strategy to implement or execute a vision. At a bare minimal level, it is a technology strategy to implement a particular solution or land it or give value to the customer. Now, if I say if that is uh, the technology strategy, I would say enterprise architecture is about the strategy to execute the success of a business. Okay. So I would, so if somebody asks me, uh, what is enterprise architecture? Do I need enterprise architecture in my company? Do I need an enterprise architecture? Replace that question with, Do I need a strategy to win? Does my company needs to have strategy? (laughs) Okay, do I need to have a specialist who will know how to strategize and execute the strategy? If the answer is yes, of course you need an enterprise architecture and you need an enterprise architect. So so what what, what have you seen? I mean, since you've been working with the uh, small, medium and even large, large uh, companies who who work in in various areas and, and... what have you seen actually is the value being prescribed to to enterprise architecture are there are they are the indian companies really focusing on that uh, or they they think this is just part of application architecture which just somebody needs to do it um okay so from my experience i'll stick my out neck out there and then say we are horribly immature okay so uh, there is uh, there is hardly any company which has a enterprise architecture team or an enterprise architect role. Okay, somebody who's kind of going to play that. Uh, we don't even have that. Okay, uh-huh. now let's compare that to uh, some company in Europe or US, right? There are a lot more companies which have enterprise architecture groups and enterprise architects. Now, am I kind of, is that 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 group and that enterprise architects are doing their job perfectly well? Not exactly, but they have at least, they have much more ahead in the game. Okay. So we haven't even reached that level where uh, conventional companies uh, 
actually define an enterprise architecture group and have a title of their job so when i'm talking it should be explicit you are an enterprise architect right it cannot be vp something like that your mm-hmm. title is enterprise architect and that is what your role and responsibility is and it becomes very clear and we are very few companies have got that even within services companies we say there's an enterprise architect but it is not there on the gal or mm-hmm. the on the role or this thing right it's yeah. not an explicit resp- yeah so why am i being little uh anal about that that's because i think that becomes the clear responsibility i'm a senior associate i'm an associate director but i do enterprise architecture it dilutes the role right you so, cannot so, yeah i so what you're saying pa- is that it it should it should be explicit it should be yeah it should be very clear of why you are being designated as, as an enterprise architect and why you exist in the company it's can it's like in equivalent of telling i will call everybody employee oh he's an employee <laughs> but he plays the role of a vice president right. he's also an employee but he plays the role of a ceo i mean why don't we do that <laughs> we don't do that right. because we want them to know what they are doing we want others to know what they are going to talk and ask like that so i think th- that's one of the and and i think that is a clear indicator of i would say uh, how mature an org is so how do they actually do it if if they don't have we if we don't have the maturity if we don't have this uh, concept of enterprise architecture embedded in, in 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 these companies what are they really doing actually uh what are they really doing do you want to bring the mic closer to your mouth okay yeah is that better yeah it's better yeah okay so i think um what they are uh, doing is uh, they are taking yes of course they are definitely dealing with uh, important things and long term things but what happens is uh, it kind of becomes reactive in nature the strategy becomes more reactive in nature than proactive so interestingly the strategy itself is a tactic so so they, so, so they are not considering long term things they're just saying let me solve this problem and somebody just get get it solved i okay it's not as simple as that nipak i think it's what happens is uh when you go higher up the chain right next three it's Three years or two years itself looks long term, okay. But that next three year idea came because of a tactical input. What I mean is, like, let's say there is uh, a let's say let's take a FMCG company, okay, and they are finding that today the uh, agents. Uh, or the brokers or the forwarders are not able to get inventory on time and they are getting a complaint okay so the it department says you know i'm going to make a inventory management uh, solution and i'm looking at the next 3 years so that we can manage inventory okay fine so that is kind of long term only okay so that's good they are doing that but do you even need freight forwarders 3 years from now with the industry changing right is the basic industry itself will change where you don't have to uh, buy and stock up things or the industry itself is shifting towards the material comes from the manufacturer directly to the uh, sales shop right is the industry going like that that process never comes in so that's why it becomes a reactive thing now when that problem hits you 2 years down the line now the it department is again reacting to a business change right right so the technology implementation is long termish but the reaction to the real business which is why the it team or the technology team exists that becomes reactive in nature 
So, so, so what are you saying is that there is there's a need for somebody who understands how the business to technology alignment has to happen, right? So the 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 understanding of how the market is behaving for it to be actually becoming a strategy, right? So so there needs to be somebody who needs to understand. So so in a way you are defining what an enterprise architect is expected to do to solve yeah. that problem. Correct. And I think uh, we have reached a stage where the business and the world has evolved to the extent that it's not enough to just align strategy and technology. You need to go a step further and you need to be able to influence the strategy of the organization itself, the business strategy. Because today, I don't think there is any company which can actually say technology doesn't matter. Right. Any, any new age company you take in any field, they need to have technology as a key component. It's like having a good sales guy on your team. It's important to have good sales guy. They make a lot of difference between a success or a failure of a company. Great product, great thing, but no good sales guy, you're dead. Right? Right. Similarly, uh, great vision, great product, but uh, uh, no smart, proactive technology, you're dead. It is not a good to have. It is, uh, I mean, when I say good to have, I'm telling having technology as a strategy diver is not a good to have. Technology becomes a key component of that. Hence, it cannot be reactive. Right, right. So that's the difference. As you said, alignment is one. Plus, the tech should be able to drive. So for example, the CTO or the CIO organization should be a key member in the strategy discussion of the CEO or the shareholders. Okay. So, so what do you actually suggest that, you see, we, since we already established that the, the companies in India are not even paying attention to this aspect of uh, uh, technology strategy in the sense where, where you have at least a designated person focusing on, on, on technology strategy for the long term or medium term, let's say three, three years or so. Right, three to five years. Is there a, is there a, even a view of technology? So, what do you suggest as as a first step, which these companies can start looking at? Or let let us begin there. What is what is the question they should ask? Whether are they doing it or they are not doing it? How how, how suppose I have let's say I'm the I'm the, I'm the CIO of of uh, a medium sized organization, and I need to figure out. Am I really doing it? I have somebody who I call as enterprise architect, but I'm, am I really doing enterprise architecture? How do? How, what is the question you would ask them? Okay, so I think the you start with something very simple. Okay, not uh, make it complicated. Is there somebody in my team? Like I'm, let's say I'm the CIO, right? I have to ask the question. Is there somebody in the team? who can actually tell the CEO, CEO on how he is going to meet his commitment to the stakeholders over the next three years. Right? And how is he going to help the CEO handle the market risks? Can somebody in my team even take what is existing, whatever the CEO has told, and make a simple Excel. These are the commitments made by the CA, CEO to the stakeholders. And these are the things happening on the technology front to help them. A simple two column matrix. Do I have one person in my team who can do this? Okay. I think that, that I think that is a that is a very excellent summary of of uh, of of the output. I think I, I think I, I really like the concept which you are putting forward. Is this is the output of that person, right? This is what we want the person to show 
to the top leadership right go ahead correct so <clears throat> once that is done then you kind of keep extending the columns then you kind of take the okr kind of a route right this quarter we are doing this this month we are doing this right so then once if this is done well at least you have you are completely aligned with the strategy of the organization and the technology strategy which means that excel document is enterprise architecture happening at a very rudimentary level and the person making that excel is an enterprise architect okay 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 so how, how so so let, so this is actually so I, i think this is a very good start from uh, for for people to actually look at whether they have somebody like this or whether they have a structure a, or a simple uh, document uh, which shows that and a side comment right there are very well defined frameworks like there is a it abc 3 from international association of software architect isa global there is a zackman framework there is a togaf framework from open stand they would be very hard as a first step mm -hmm. okay but sometime down the line the organizations can pick up one of these frameworks to become better but this would be a step one a very simple question which can be asked and it can be answered in a day or two you don't need too much of research so 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 what what happens uh, if people are confused to ask even these questions so so what is what is your guidance to to so so let's say let's say a company doesn't really have an enterprise architect they they, they have some architects but they don't, they don't really have enterprise architects is it still possible for them to really do this exercise yeah I definitely and uh, one of the advantages is you don't need a technical rambo to become an enterprise architect okay so you need an enterprise architect is somebody who understands technology why a technology exists what problem it solves he doesn't need to know how it works okay so a person with that quality who un, who's comfortable with technology why it exists what problem it solves is a great candidate for that and all that person has to do easier said than done of course but all that person has to do is sit down and look at probably the annual report or the ceo's address and write down what are all the priorities of the ceo for the next things get it confirmed with the ceo or somebody from the ceo's office and fill the second column by looking at your internal teams and the projects and the initiatives that's running so in fact it's kind of lot more easier than we think it is i i think that, that that's a very important point which you have made is that people people tend to get lost in the complexity and look at lost in the technology part of it and they forget about uh why why they are doing this exercise in the first place what is the end result and and, and the the approach which you have provided them is go from outside in then inside out then looking at rather than looking at technology and then looking at what what value you are going to provide to business you start what with what what the business really needs and and then you bring it into wha what technology is really providing and look at that columns on the on the right side and say what is, what are the gaps we have in, in in to make sure that ceo's vision is actually realized right correct right okay i i think i think this is this is a very very uh, succinct uh, summary of 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 what an enterprise architect it, it is expected to do and why it is important for uh, enterprises today to have enterprise architects and to build this vision of how technology is going to solve their problems or at least satisfy the stakeholders who, who have invested in 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 the technology 
So, so thank you, Kumaran. I think this is this is a very important topic, and we'll go deeper into it some point in the future where we look at uh, some of the enterprise architecture uh, approaches. And at some point, maybe we'll talk about uh, uh, this certain frameworks which are available and why some why enterprises should look at some of those frameworks. So thank you for this, and uh, this is a very good discussion. And hope all of you enjoy this discussion and learn something from it. Even if you don't have any idea of enterprise architecture, I think you got somewhere out of this discussion. So thank you, and see you next time. And please do subscribe. And uh, I I know we have been mi missing out on uh, book recommendations. So uh, hopefully next time we will uh, start doing those book recommendations again. Uh, thank you, Kumaran. And uh, see you next time, everyone. Nice. Thanks, Deepak.